Lori Maddox emerged from the whirlwind era of 1970s rock and roll as one of its most iconic baby groupies. Immersed in the hedonistic LA music scene from a young age, Maddox's relationships with several rock legends, while she was still in her mid-teens, have made her tales both tantalizing and controversial. As decades have passed and societal norms shifted, Lori's experiences have become emblematic of the era's unrestrained excesses, blurring the lines between teenage rebellion the allure of fame, and the complexities of consent and power dynamics. Join Facts Verse as we present Lori Maddox Breaks Silence on Her Baby Grippy Days. See her now. Lori's Life Lori Maddox, often referred to as Lori Lightning or Baby Groupie, was one of the most notorious figures of the Los Angeles rock scene in the 1970s. She first entered the glamorous and often tumultuous world of rock and roll at a precociously young age, mostly frequenting clubs like the Whiskey A Go Go and the Rainbow Bar and Grill, even though she was well below the legal age. These venues were the epicenter of rock culture in LA during the 70s. Maddox is perhaps best known for her relationship with rock stars, most notably Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin. Their relationship began when she was only 14 and he was in his mid-20s. It's been the subject of controversy given her age at the time. Along with her best friend, Sable Starr, Maddox was part of the scene that celebrated and was celebrated by many of the rock stars of the time. The term groupie back then held a different connotation than it might today, and these young women were very much a part of the fabric of the rock and roll culture. As the 1970s progressed, Progressed, and as Maddox grew older, she began to distance herself from the rock scene. There's less public information about her later life, and she chose to live a relatively low-key existence after her early years in the limelight. In more recent years, the narratives of young groupies and their relationships with much older rock stars have been re-examined. What was once seen as glamorous is now often viewed through a more critical lens, raising questions about power dynamics, consent, and exploitation. Lori Maddox's life as a baby Groupie offers a glimpse into a wild and often hedonistic era of rock and roll. Lori and Jimmy Page the relationship between Led Zeppelin guitarist Jimmy Page and Lori Maddox is one of rock and roll's most controversial. Their relationship, set against the backdrop of the freewheeling rock scene of the 70s, is indicative of a period when societal norms and standards were in many ways markedly different from today. Their relationship began in the early 70s when Lori was in her mid-teens and Jimmy Page in his mid-20s. Maddox has said in interviews that she was introduced to Page after a Led Zeppelin concert. He was was immediately smitten and a romance ensued shortly after their first meeting. While Maddox often described their relationship as a whirlwind romance, it was conducted in secret due to her age. She's spoken about being sequestered away in hotel rooms while she was with Paige to avoid any unwanted attention and legal repercussions. Despite the secrecy, Maddox has recalled her time with Paige with warmth, claiming she truly believed they were in love. Their liaison was relatively short-lived, especially as Led Zeppelin popularity surged and as Maddox herself matured, moving on to other relationships within the rock circle. In retrospect, their relationship, given the significant age and power difference, has been met with criticism and concerns about exploitation. Even though Maddox herself has generally spoken of her time with Paige without regret, emphasizing her agency in the relationship, it remains a point of contention in discussions about rock history and the broader culture of the 70s. Lori and David Bowie the relationship between David Bowie and Lori is another controversial chapter in the annals of rock history, reflecting the uninhibited, often wild ethos of the 1970s rock scene. The exact details of how they met are murky, but it's generally believed to have occurred when Maddox was still in her mid-teens. She's described as being introduced to Bowie in a hotel room and spending the night with him. Unlike her involvement with Paige, Maddox's relationship with Bowie appears to have been more of a brief encounter rather than an ongoing relationship. Relationship. It's a part of the lore surrounding Bowie's early visits to LA and his immersion in the hedonistic rock and roll lifestyle of the time. Lori Maddox has spoken about her experience with Bowie with a sense of nostalgia, portraying it as a consensual and thrilling adventure. In her eyes, it was a glamorous and exciting part of her youth, and she often speaks of Bowie with fondness. 
Cultural Legacy Lori, as perhaps the most famous of the baby groupies, holds a unique place in the history of rock. Her presence and that of other young groupies like her can be viewed as a symbol of the era's hedonism, but her legacy also provides a lens through which to re-evaluate the cultural and moral standards of the time. The 70s rock scene in LA was characterized by excesses, drugs, parties, and a blurred line between stardom and fandom. Lori, being involved with several rock icons while she was still in her teens, epitomized the free-spirited and rebellious nature of this age. In the decades since, stories of young groupies involved with older rock stars have been revisited with new perspectives on age, consent, and power dynamics. Lori's narrative walks a fine line. On the one hand, she's repeatedly emphasized her agency in these relationships, portraying them as consensual and denying any victimhood. On the other hand, contemporary feminist discourse might argue that the significant age and power disparities inherently compromised her agency. Maddox's experiences also shed light on the changing dynamics between celebrities and their fans. Today's celebrity culture, with focus on social media and increased scrutiny, makes the kind of close, personal relationships between stars and fans seen in the 70s far less common. Lori's Stance on the Me Too Movement Lori Maddox was an integral part of the LA rock scene in the 70s, and given her relationships with several iconic rock musicians while still in her teens, her experiences and perspectives have been revisited in light of the Me Too Movement. When Lori's past was viewed through the lens of Me Too, it raised questions about the issues of consent, power dynamics, and exploitation. Many contemporary readers and observers expressed discomfort with her experiences, seeing them as cases of potential potential exploitation. Maddox herself has given interviews where she shared her perspective on the movement and her past. She's repeatedly emphasized that her relationship with rock stars was consensual. She describes them as passionate love affairs and has asserted she never felt like a victim. But at the same time, she's expressed support for survivors who have come forward as part of the Me Too movement. And at the same time, she feels her experiences were different. She's cautioned against painting every relationship with a broad brush and believes there is is room for nuance in understanding relationships from the past. She's acknowledged that what was deemed acceptable in the 1970s might be viewed differently today, and recognizes the importance of evolving societal standards, but asks for an understanding of the context of her experiences. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you surprised about Lori's views on her exploits in the 1970s? Let us know in the comments section below.